Um, so <laughs> that kind of brings me to the next part of this is that everything is instantaneous and kind of uncontrolled. Uh, you can control it to a certain extent. If you put something out on the internet, it's out there. Whether you want it to be uh, monetized or not, somebody's going to use it for free. Because that's the way the internet works. So if you're using the internet, I hope you're okay with that. Now, my example where this is actually a good thing, um, Noam Galai, how many people have, have, are familiar with his work? Yeah, I figure you are. Okay, so... He, uh, he took some, some self-portraits in 2006, um, uploaded some stuff to Flickr, went back six months later, kind of drug, dug through some of the photos, uploaded a couple more. And then, I think it was a few months after that, somebody stopped him and said, hey, so, uh, you know, I really like one, you know, these photos. Why didn't you tell me you were selling T-shirts? They're like, What? Okay, this image he's found in 40 different countries, people using it without his permission. And that's just the ones he knows about. He's assuming that there's many, many, many more. Um, I, I think he said to date he's basically gotten paid once for the use of this image. Um, from, I think it was National Geographic, yeah. It's the only paid gig to date. Okay, so if you start doing the math on this and you figure, okay, how many times has this image been, been used uh, inappropriately? How many times could he have actually gotten licensing for it? Yeah, I mean, he, he'd be a millionaire by now, theoretically. But the flip side of this is that if he actually had gone through the traditional channels of trying to actually get this into a traditional licensing model, he probably wouldn't have gotten a single buy off of it. Or he, he might have gotten a handful. It's hard to say. But the point here is that there are actually a lot of people who know his face. He's gotten a number of gigs now, well-paying gigs, off of the recognition that he's gotten from this photo. So he looks at it from a very different perspective in that it's not about what he necessarily lost out of the misuse of it, but it's what he's gained. People know who he is. People hire him for work. That's kind of priceless in some ways, because you can't get that kind of exposure typically through traditional channels, or at least it's something you really have to build up over time. So it's a very different way of, of kind of approaching things. And it's not to say that you know, any of us are necessarily going to walk out of the room today, take a picture, upload it to Flickr, and find exactly the same you know, thing. But if you have a successful image, and nobody knows who you are, you might actually come out ahead just by getting it out there if people find the right use for it.